So it seems that we have an infantry focused Space Marine Combat Patrol reveal today. Let's take a look at the new contents for Combat Patrol Dark Angels and talk about how good a deal it is or isn't. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking Dark Angels once more. At present I'm hard at work at the Dark Angels Codex review, which will be out later in the day, though I thought I'd stop off to talk about the news that we're getting a new combat patrol for Dark Angels, now 100% confirmed from leaked images within the book. This was something that I was kind of interested to see whether it would be confirmed one way or the other. The way that Warhammer 40k Codexes showcase their combat patrols is that they have a big picture of their combat patrol set, along with the details of how to make the standard set, and then get specific data sheets and the rules for playing the combat patrol within the codex itself, though they should also follow as digital downloads online as well. I believe the Dark Angels combat patrol also has the present on the data sheets that in the Deathwing assault box, the extra data cards to make up the 20 ones for the Dark Angels alongside the 16 ones from the core codex. It seems that the new one for the Dark Angels is called the Vengeful Brotherhood, as well as revealing the models, it also has the rules for the Combat Patrol game system, which I will go over briefly at the end of the video as well. Personally, I'm perhaps primarily interested in how much of a discount it can get us for some nice space room miniatures, though I would bear in mind that this one will replace the Redemptor Chaplain and Inceptors box set that we have currently, which I would rate as one of the more helpful ones for Space Marines, mainly due to being able to get that Redemptor at a discount, which often tends to be a fairly central and kind of powerhouse unit for the faction. Taking a look at the actual contents though, and the Combat Patrol box set will cost £95, €125 Euros, or $160. So far all the ones for 10th edition have been at that same price point, even though with the majority of other releases it does seem that the contents in them has been getting less generous in terms of percentage discount. In the new version for Combat Patrol Dark Angels, it seems that we get the Gravis Captain, the multi-part version with the option for the second melee weapon, one squad of Blade Guard veterans, one squad of five Hellblasters, and one squad of 10 intercessors. In addition to that, you also get the Dark Angels upgrade sprue with some shoulder pads for the intercessors and hellblasters. That's the only bit that I am a little bit uncertain of as to the contents of this. It looks like all the intercessors and hellblasters are modeled with this in shot, though what I'm not sure about is whether or not it represents the old style upgrade sprue, the one with the sort of power sword upgrade for the intercessor sergeant, or whether it would be a copy of the new Dark Angels upgrade sprue, the one with exciting stuff like the Deathwing Plasma Cannon, the Watcher in the Dark, and other bits. I think out of the two, I'd kind of hope it might be the latter. That one's got more interesting stuff and could be used as a bit of a resource beyond this box set. That is what the Black Templars got with their box set, though I guess we'll have to wait and see when this one's officially announced. Putting the points cost for these together, and you get 465 points in game, I feel like comparatively that could be worse as combat patrols go. In days past, it used to be that they'd aim to have about 500 points worth of models in these, though in general that's definitely slipped over the past few years or so. The majority of Combat Patrol box sets that Games Workshop unleashes these days tend to be under 500 points, and at the moment I'd actually say that 465 points is actually on the upper end, even if it is still a fair way off some of the absolute best deals out there, like Gene Stealer Cold and Custodes. For discount on the kits, the price individually is £116, €152, Euros, or $190, and that's just based on the Space Marine kits themselves, not the upgrade sprue. So that means if you wanted these exact Space Marine kits in your army, you'd save around about 20% compared with buying them separately, which admittedly is on the kind of lower end for Games Workshop Combat Patrol discounts, but it's still not nothing. That's maybe not too terrible for the Space Marine Combat Patrols as you do get those upgrade sprues. I guess potentially you could resell them to other Dark Angels collectors if you didn't collect Dark Angels. Or you might find them genuinely kind of handy to have for shoulder markings and things if you do collect the forces of the Unforgiven. Admittedly, the old Dark Angels Combat Patrol box set was on the slightly lower end for Space Marine discounts as well. Though I would argue that the unit mix in that one was really quite nice getting the exciting Redemptor. Otherwise, for thoughts on the contents, the thing that maybe surprised me the most about this is that there's absolutely no unique Dark Angels content in this. Sure, you get the upgrade sprues like you tend to in the past with the Space Marine Combat Patrols. I honestly thought that there will be unique Dark Angels miniatures in this one though. Maybe those Inner Circle Companions or Squad of Deathwing Terminators. When the Black Templars got their range refreshed, they both had a Crusader Squad and the Marshal in their Combat Patrol alongside their upgrade sprue. 
And in all honesty, I thought that the main reason that they hadn't included unique models in the Combat Patrol box set was due to the Dark Angels not having any yet, and that will be swiftly rectified as soon as they got a release like this. I'm kind of in two minds as to how good a thing that is though. On the one hand, I feel like it could have been quite easy to add some unique miniatures into this. You could have had the Inner Circle Companions, or maybe a squad of the Deathwing Knights. Either one of those would have made it feel like a truly Dark Angels box, aside from a standard Primaris Space Marine box with some extras tacked on. Perhaps in particular, the Inner Circle Companions could have been a big draw to the box if you had them in place of the Blade Guard. It does look like they're going to be sold in units of three. On the other hand though, for the wider Space Marine range, it really isn't the worst news in the world. If this had got unique Dark Angels models in it, then it might just be a lot less broadly applicable, and this one means that you could pick this up for any other chapter that you might want to collect, as it is still at least a fairly respectable 20% discount on getting the models individually. And I feel like the unit mix is actually kind of good for a start collecting Space Marine infantry thing. Intercessors are your core troops, and then you've got some fairly dangerous fighting elites in both the Blade Guard and the Hell Blasters, both good at taking down some harder targets in their own way. Feels like you could potentially double up on the box set if you were getting into Space Marines and it wouldn't be a wrong choice. Probably the only thing that you wouldn't necessarily want two copies of would be the Gravis Captain. You might be able to resell or swap him with someone else perhaps. Otherwise, for a start collecting Space Marines box set, the weird thing for me is that they've chosen to include the Gravis Captain rather than say a captain that could join one of these squads. Absolutely no idea why they decided to make that choice. Don't get me wrong, the Gravis Captain is really quite a cool model, and I've got nothing against him being included. It just might have made a bit more sense if they'd say had aggressors instead of the Blade Guard here, or instead they'd chosen to include just the regular Primaris Captain, or even a Primaris Lieutenant instead. That would have just had a lot more synergy with these actual units. I don't know if this is Games Workshop just trying to do a bit of crafty upselling here, meaning that if you get this box set, then they're trying to upsell you on a unit of aggressors, perhaps. That should probably be the most logical choice for the Gravis Captain to lead, and maybe that is kind of unhelpful for Dark Angels in particular, given that they might have a bit more of a liking for Terminator plates over Gravis. Maybe if you're going down that logic, then even a Terminator character might have actually been better for the Dark Angels in specific. Otherwise though, it does look like this one could mean the death knell for the current Dark Angels Combat Patrol box set, which is still on sale at the moment. If you are looking to pick up this one before it goes, feel free to check out my affiliate links down in the video description. There's a whole load of discounters around the world who will do this one for a bit less than Games Workshop would. I would rate the current Combat Patrol Dark Angels as one of the better Space Marine ones personally. As mentioned, the discount isn't actually spectacular on it, with the Redemptor, Inceptors, Five Intercessors and the Chaplain. But that mix of units has generally been kind of handy to have for Space Marines, not absolutely dominated by the troops. And in particular, the Redemptor Dreadnought has got a very good track record of being just a strong damage and defense unit for the Codex, and Inceptors are absolutely amazing at the moment right now. They're usually fairly dangerous with Plasma in the past as well. Compared with the other Combat Patrol box sets in 10th edition though, this one doesn't feel anywhere near as much of a flat downgrade as basically all the rest have felt to me. I feel like it will still be quite a good force as a start Space Marine box set with some dangerous units as well as some troops. I'll be interested to hear which one you rate as better, whether or not it's the old one or the new one. Finally, in Codex Dark Angels, we do have a few rules for this new box set if anyone's interested in those. These apply to the Combat Patrol game only. As per normal, they're sort of a mix-up of a few different stratagems out of different detachments plus a choice of enhancements and secondaries. The three stratagems that you get are Fight on Death on a 4+, or going to a 3+, for the Blade Guard. There's a 1 Command Point 1 for piling and Consolidate 6 inches, and a 1 CP 1 for Lethal Hits when you're shooting. That's to be quite good for the Hell Blasters taking down heavy stuff, I guess. Otherwise, your Gravis Captain either gets Sustained Hits 1 while he's on an objective, or he gets to gain 1 CP on a 4+, if the army destroys their Oath of Moment targets. And finally, for secondary objectives, you have one where your opponent nominates a midfield marker. You get five victory points if you control that at the end of any one turn. And otherwise, a nice Hunt the Fallen style one where you get five victory points for destroying an enemy character, and then a further five if all enemy characters are slain at the end of the game. I kind of feel like Games Workshop with these Combat Patrol box sets might be slightly trying to move things to a more infantry focused thing. The monsters and vehicles that we've seen in the combat patrols have been kind of on the light side compared with things like the Redemptor, so perhaps that could be one motivation for why they tend to be going away and they tend to be a bit more infantry or light vehicle focused. In any case, let me know what you make of the new combat patrol box set, would you be tempted to pick it up or not, and how do you think it compares with the new one? And feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics if you'd like to see more like this, 
I'll hopefully be following up with a full review of Codex Dark Angels later in the day. Finally, if you'd like to help support Allspets Tactics and keep all these videos coming, I do have a Patreon page that's linked down in the video description, which is the main thing that allows me to keep all these videos coming quite so regularly. Given that today is the day that the Deathwing Assault box set goes on sale, I will also mention that that's the subject for my February giveaway. At least at time of recording, it looks like that has not sold out from Games Workshop. I didn't personally have any trouble picking up copies of it for the channel giveaway between Games Workshop and friendly local gaming stores. In any case, the channel February giveaway will be for 6 copies of Deathwing Assault, the big new box set with 16 Terminators including 5 Deathwing Knights and Belial, plus the new Codex and Data Cards. As per normal, there's going to be two equal ways to enter, both links down in the video description, either supporting the channel on Patreon for any amount, or supporting via social media. If you're going for the Patreon option, it's links down in the video description, and that gets you automatic entry to the giveaways each month. The next one will be for the Tower Croup box set. And if you're going via the free social media option, then do three actions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and to actually enter the draw, the post for the giveaway goes live on the 1st of February at midnight UK time. Reply to that post with a photo of any 40k mini or imagery, along with your name and the date handwritten within the same photo, the last bit just to deter Facebook bots and spammers. The draw will be done via a random number generator, with all the channel patrons and the Facebook entrants entered equally, and 6 winners will be pulled out. I'll announce that in the channel update video on the 4th of February. The box sets will be posted as soon as I receive my orders of them. In any case, feel free to check out the link down in the video description if you'd like to be entered for that. Otherwise, just an absolutely enormous thank you to anyone who is helping out to support the channel. Let me know what your take is on the new Combat Patrol and any of the new leaks about the Dark Angels Codex in general, and I'll be aiming to be back with a full review of the Dark Angels Codex here on the channel sometime later in the day, just as soon as I can get it recorded. In any case, an absolutely enormous thank you for listening, and I hope to see you guys next time.